Welcome, friends. Thank you for joining me today for the second Sunday of Lent as we spend some time with our Lenten Cross devotions. I want to call your attention to something. Usually, I don't change our prayers in the middle of a season, but today I have to tell you, I found the most beautiful prayer for us to share. It's short, but it's what we call a body prayer, and I just couldn't wait to use it. So, last week's sheet will look a little bit different. There is one new prayer at the end of this week's sheet. If you'd like to print it off, you can, or you can just follow me. Let's begin. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lord, let the words of our mouths and the prayers of our hearts be pleasing to you, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. And now we have our song. Lord, we call to you right now. Hear us as we pray. Folded hands and quiet hearts, hear us as we pray. Give us thankful hearts, reveal your truth each day. Give us courage in our faith, hear us as we pray. Hear us as we pray. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, we are going to work with our Lenten cross for the second Sunday of the season of Lent. We're going to do things a little bit out of order, because if you remember last week, we added a rock to remind us of Jesus's time in the desert. And today, in our little baggie, we have a little bit more of a tricky item to add. We're going to add this red string. And I'll show you what we do. We have two holes at the bottom. It really doesn't matter how you tie them through. I am poking them through the back of the page and pull them up and you're just going to tie it. You can tie it in a knot or tie it in a bow. Whatever works for you is fine. And if you don't know how to tie yet, you can ask a grown-up or an older brother or sister for help. Now, we are going to light a candle or color if you'd rather in space number one remembering Jesus's time in the desert and in space number two Let's enjoy this light. In the second week of Lent, we think about what Jesus was called to do and what we are called to do as disciples. It's not always easy. Following God's best ways may not always go along with what other people are doing. And it might sometimes leave us feeling lost or left out. This second candle and a red ribbon remind us of how important this special call to follow Jesus is and that God is always with us, helping us to follow God's best ways. Today we have a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Then Jesus said to his followers, If any of you want to be my follower, 
You must stop thinking about the things that you want. You must be willing to pick up your cross and follow me. I wonder if you've ever had a time that people near you were maybe not following God's best ways. I wonder how you handle it when the rest of the group isn't following God's best ways, but you know what is right. It can be hard. Let us pray. Most holy God, give us the will and the strength to turn away from evil, no matter how popular it may seem. Give us strength to do the right thing, even if it costs us much. Amen. And now let us pray for God's people everywhere. Jesus, hear these prayers we send. Bless our neighbors, family, and friends. Jesus, help our eyes to see ways to help your people in need. Jesus, help our ears to hear calls for help from far and near. Jesus, help our feet to go in the ways that you would show. Jesus, help our hands to do all things loving, kind, and true. Jesus, guide us through each day in all the things we do and say. Amen. And now, friends, that new prayer that I want to share with you comes to us from our friends at Illustrated Ministry. It's a prayer you can do anytime, and it's not hard to remember. It's a prayer that uses breathing and body movements, kind of like some other ones that we've been doing. It's a prayer that you can do in the silence or maybe with a little quiet music. It's also a prayer that if you're having a time where you're feeling maybe overexcited or you have a lot of energy or maybe you're feeling frustrated or mad, you can use this prayer to help you calm yourself and come back into a centered place of calm and peace and the silence that is lent. Are you ready? Breathe in deeply. Breathe out slowly. Place your fingers near your lips and repeat after me. With these lips, I will speak God's word. With these lips, I will speak God's word. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out slowly. Hold your hands together in front of you and repeat after me. With these hands, I will serve God's world. With these hands, I will serve God's world. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out slowly. Place your hands on your heart and repeat after me. With all that I am, I will share God's love. With all that I am, I will share God's love. Breathe in deeply, breathe out slowly. Move your hands to the top of your head and repeat after me. I will remember that I am God's own. I will remember that I am God's own. And with another deep breath, And breathing out, we say, Amen. Friends, you are indeed God's own. And my heart gives thanks that we get to be in God's church and a church family together. I'm thankful for each of you, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.